Hi, I'm Pastor Elver. Welcome to Second Cup of Coffee. This month, our series is entitled, He Hears Us. And last week, we discussed how Zacharias and Elizabeth's prayer had been heard by God. God sent them an angel with an answer, and he said in Luke chapter 1, God has heard you. And that's the point that we're trying to get through this week, is that uh, this month, is that he hears us when we call. We talked about a little bit about Psalm 34, and I want to unpack that a little bit today as we read that again together. Psalm 34, verses 1 and 2 says this, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will continually be in my mouth. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The humble will hear thereof and be glad. That was the King James. We're actually in the New King James. But let me give you just a little bit of background of this psalm. You read it and you think, everything must be going right in this guy's life because isn't that when you praise God when everything is good? The reality is that this was David writing the psalm and he had been in a boatload of hurt and trouble. The king of Israel was hunting him down to kill him and he barely escaped numerous times from Saul's hand. Now, you'll have to read this story, but David did not deserve this kind of treatment at all. So what does he do? He decides, I'm just going to go over to the Philistines to get away from Saul. He can't catch me here. Problem is that the Philistines are Israel's arch enemy. And so he's hanging around uh, uh, by the palace and the king hears that David's out there and he goes, what is the deal? This guy has killed thousands of us. David begins to hear this and he realizes he's in trouble here. And so he feigns madness and they go, get him out of our sight. So, so he escapes. In the midst of this is when he writes a psalm. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise will always be in my mouth. It shows us, if nothing else, that when things aren't going well, we still need to praise God. When things haven't worked out the way we'd hoped, we need to praise God. And when we praise, he hears us. I just want to draw your attention, just as a sidebar, if I might, uh, to verses three, excuse me, verses two, that says, my soul will make its boast in the Lord, the humble will hear of it and be glad. My goodness, as we look at these things, people hear when we praise. People hear when we complain, and it affects them. When we release praise into an atmosphere, an atmosphere begins to lighten up. When we begin to claim, uh, complain and grumble and murmur, it causes just a, a, a darkness to come upon the people that we're with, it isn't good at all. We affect people by what comes out of our mouth. I remember Psalm 19, I believe it is, uh, and the last verse. I may get that wrong, so don't hold me to it. But when I was in junior high, we always ended our meetings with this. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We have to be careful of what comes out of our mouth. But it's so important to realize this. Praising God is a choice. It is not dependent upon what we go through. It's not dependent upon our circumstance. It's a choice that we make, even in the darkest of times. It does seem counterintuitive to praise God when your world is collapsing ar around you. How do you do that? You come to know him and his love for you. You spend time with him. And you consider his goodness that he has spoken about in our lives. We must come to that, that place, and I remember it all the time, I will bless the Lord at all times. May this week, as we lift up our voices to God in praise and in prayer, may we think of all that comes out of our lips and expect that he will hear us when we praise him. He will hear us when we lift up our prayers. God bless you. If this has been any help or encouragement to you, would you uh, put it on social media or share it with someone who needs encouragement? God bless you.